Hello my friends. Welcome to the channel. Let's get into the video. Humans walk the earth today for one reason. We are survivors. For millions of years, we fought for our very existence. The evolution of Homo habilis and Homo erectus helped shape the Homo sapiens that we are today. One of our early ancestors, Homo habilis, walked this earth 2.4 million years ago. They stood at an average of only 4 feet tall and weighed around 100 pounds. Without the ability to defend themselves against large animals and predators, they were not very high on the food chain. This early human did not seem like a candidate to one day dominate the planet. Early humans still shared some physical similarities with apes. Long arms and thick curved fingers indicate that Homo habilis survived by living in the trees. After millions of years foraging for sharp rocks, early humans began to manipulate the rocks themselves. Using stone tools to break open bones was a milestone for our evolution. Without the ability to hunt, nutrient-dense foods like bone marrow were scarce for early humans. Scavenging the long-chain fatty acids of the marrow was instrumental to our brain growth. Access to resources catapulted us to the next step in the evolution of the human species, Homo erectus, when we went from the hunted to hunter. 1.8 million years ago, Homo erectus appeared on the continent of Africa and thrived for 1.6 million years. Homo erectus had a tall, slender build, pronounced ridge brow, a recessed chin, and a brain about three-fourths the size of modern Homo sapiens. They were the first of our ancestors to live on the ground, adapting to the savanna by shedding their fur to prevent overheating. Homo erectus was the first human to leave Africa, utilizing the greatest tool at their disposal, fire. Cooking breaks down the proteins inside meat and makes it easier to digest than when raw. As a result, our digestive tracts shrink, which freed up more energy to fuel and grow our brains. The first stone tools currently date back to 3.3 million years ago. The simple technique of chipping one side of a rock to produce an edge existed for over a million years before Homo erectus discovered that turning the rock over and chipping the other side would create a more efficient tool, the Acheulean hand axe. Homo erectus moved from one resource-rich environment to the next. They survived on this planet for over a million and a half years before vanishing, clearing the stage for the next step in human evolution, us. 200,000 years ago, the first Homo sapiens had the same body shape and brain size as modern-day humans. Because of their increased intelligence, they were on the verge of becoming the greatest hunters on Earth. Homo sapiens created the composite spear, a weapon that propelled them to the status of the top, or apex, predator. For early Homo sapiens, sinew is a powerful new material for weapon making. Sinew is animal tendon, and it occurs on mammals in many different places. Our Achilles heel tendon is an example of sinew. Homo sapiens used sinew to lash, tie, and sew with. They even used it to make string. This durable tendon has adhesive properties that allowed them to bind stone tips onto spears, giving Homo sapiens a hunting advantage over their ancestors. 125,000 years ago, Homo sapiens ventured out of Africa and onto the Arabian Peninsula. 75,000 years ago, massive climate shifts turned the once lush peninsula into a vast wasteland. Game began to vanish, and early humans could no longer hunt the big animals they were accustomed to eating. They were forced to change their hunting strategies and adapt to this new environment. Such limited resources meant that Homo sapiens suffered, almost to extinction. But once we were able to reach the monsoon areas along the Arabian Peninsula's coast, we utilized the resources of the dry land and the bounty of the sea. 45,000 years ago, our species was exploding in numbers, causing local plants and animals to be consumed faster than they could recover. This forced Homo sapiens to expand into new lands and onto oceans, and this meant they had to acquire a new skill, raft building. 
Homo sapiens learned another skill too, weaving. They transformed grasses and reeds into baskets, containers, and even traps. At that time, Homo sapiens also created a specialized and efficient cutting tool, the knife. From there, Homo sapiens continued to evolve until they became what we are today. Their story of evolution is something still in us, the ability to survive and to adapt as we need to, when we need to.